What's up guys, George here and today I have another experiment that you can do yourself at home to show the power of air pressure. All you need is a drink can, mine's a Coke can, and a bowl of cold water. That's all you need and it's really simple so let's get to it. The first step is to put a teeny little bit of water in your can, only about a centimetre deep, about that much. So I'll just do that. Okay, that's good, and now we can go to the next step. Next, all you need to do is heat your can on the stove. Uh, now be careful with this because the fire is hot, obviously, and it can get dangerous. If you need to move the can for any reason, I would suggest you use some tongs and just grab the can. Now we wait until steam has started to come out the top of the can and that is when we know that it is ready for the next step. Make sure you have your bowl of water ready um, because the next step needs to be done very quickly. Final step once the steam has started to come out the top is to grab the coke bottle, turn it upside down and dunk it in the water. So that is what happens when you dunk the can in the water. That is the final product. This was accomplished with air pressure. It's a very interesting and easy trick to do and the results are quite impressive. But what causes it to happen? Well, as the water is heated in the can, it forms steam, which fills up into the can, pushing out the regular air. So the can is now full of water vapour. When you pick the can up and put it in the cold water, the steam is condensed, and so the pressure inside the can is now much less than the pressure outside the can. The pressure outside the the air outside the can pushes the can with so much force that it is able to crush it in the way that you saw. So if the can gets absolutely crushed like that. Why don't we? How come we're not crushed? Because that's a metal can. Obviously that force is quite large. So why don't we get crushed by the air that we need to survive? Well, because our internal pressure inside us pushes out with the same amount of force that the air pushes in on us. So they balance each other out and we don't explode or get crushed. When you dive down into a pool or the sea, you can feel the water pushing in on your ears and your ears can get blocked, or when you go in an aeroplane, they can get blocked as well. This is because of the pressure. At sea level, where the air pressure is relatively normal, the pressure pushing in on your ears is equal to the pressure pushing out from inside your ear canals. When you dive down, however, the pressure from the water is far greater than what we are used to at sea level and so you can feel it in your ears as the air spaces in your ear canals are compressed and then when you come back up they are able to expand again and it goes back to normal. The same is in an aeroplane. As the plane ascends the air pressure around the outside of the plane decreases. Now the cabin is pressurized to counteract this however it's not quite perfect and so there's still a slight drop in pressure in the cabin. You can feel this as a popping in your ears. The pressure on the outside of your ears is now less than the pressure from the inside and so your eardrums are pushed outwards by that pressure. Now this can be relieved by chewing because it enables air to flow around here and the pressure to equalize. As you descend you blow like that, pushes it air into your ears and it balances the pressure. Now you must never do this blowing through your nose with it blocked to do your ears while you're ascending because you could rupture your eardrum. The pressure on uh, outside your ears is decreasing so you shouldn't increase the pressure in your ear canals otherwise you'll burst your eardrums. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you had a great result like I did of the experiment then tweet me a picture of it. My Twitter is 
here or in the description. I don't know if I can be bothered. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe and share me with your friends because, please. Um, and I'll see you next time.